Hey guys, it's Chris Smith here, and I'm back with another video. Oh, ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. But bam. Today, I am going to be talking to you about my experience at Wes. In case you don't know, Wes is basically like um, this West End stage summer school thing that I did for a week, like about a month ago now, I think, because I did it in the first week. So it's basically taught by loads of West End stars and everything, and like people who have been in musicals or are in musicals. So a dance coach had been in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or was, I think, and our acting coach was in Fame, which my mum and I actually saw, and we saw her on stage, and yeah. But yeah, they were just like, loads of industry professionals and like West End stars who you probably wouldn't know. It was so much fun, like honestly. Like I went into it thinking, oh yeah, this will be a good week and like, I think someone else has said this on a YouTube video, but I wouldn't make many friends and like, yeah, it's just, I wasn't really expecting to get loads out of it, but I actually did. So basically, at the start of the week, you all get put in a room, and this was on the Monday morning, you'll get put in the room at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, it's all singing, all dancing, new um, facilities there. Your teachers come out and we all go like cheering, wild, whatever, like for these people that we've never even met before, but you know, may as well because it's Wes. So you sit in this room and like Mark Puddle, I know his name is awesome, director of the whole programme comes out, and explains which groups you're in, or no, you've already know which groups you were in. I was in Aqua, so I was with 15 to 18 year olds, and I think we were the only group that at that age, and we were the second oldest group there. I think it goes from eight year olds or something. We get told like what our lessons were for that day, so I think we had acting, singing, dancing, and then a war horse workshop on the first day, so that was like puppetry and stuff, like crazy. We like scrumpled up bits of paper, like bits of newspaper, and then made puppets out of them and had to make them move and stuff like little mice and it was it was all very weird but it was like it was it was great because it was with one of the women who ran the puppets like on the show. At the start of the week you get given a show. I don't know what how it worked for the other weeks but you get given a show that you're going to work on. So we worked on the story of Cinderella. Our acting, singing and dancing lessons every day were based around our performance for the show. And they were just sort of like rehearsals, like normal rehearsals would be. But it was sort of a condensed version of Cinderella. Our acting bit was where she goes to the ball, leaves her shoe behind and everything. So we got that bit. And then our song was For Good from Wicked, which was amazing. I got, I managed to get like a solo line in it, which was really, I was really happy about. So um, yeah, and our dance was fabulous from Sister Act. So we all looked very camp, like doing a lot of like, whatever, like stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was all just loads of fun. I met some amazing people there and it was just overall a really great experience. So we had lessons for Monday and Tuesday and then we had a war horse workshop on Monday and on Tuesday, I can't remember which workshop we had, but then on the Wednesday we went, we had lessons in the morning and then we went to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because one of our coaches was there who was running a workshop. So we went to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory as a massive group and it was amazing, like, we, it, I've never seen it before, but it was actually really, really good. Um, but yeah, that's all included and that was great. We got to sit with our friends and everything. And then after Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, we got like an exclusive Q&A with some of the cast. So I think we got Willy Wonka himself. And then we got a few Oompa Loompas, I think it was, that came out who told us all about how they have to dance in squirrel costumes and stuff, which was funny, but it was quite cool as well. Um, and then we had Miss Bucket came out and who else? I can't remember. Oh, Mrs. Um, TV, who was amazing. She was like my favourite. She, <laughs> she was so funny. And then on the Thursday we had lessons again and we had a Miss Saigon workshop. I'm not sure if I'm putting them in the right order, but it doesn't really matter. No, wait. We had our Miss Saigon workshop on Friday after lessons. We had a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory workshop on Thursday, which I won the game that we played. 
Sorry, I feel like this is going to make me sound really cocky, but I'm not. It was really funny. We basically had to use a letter of the alphabet that we were given and like make a shape or make um, a an object that was as creative as possible, like with that letter. So like some people who went out, if it was the letter R, they put like rug, but that's what comes into your head first. I don't know why rug came into my head. Anyway, but like I won with tea because my friend was a teapot and I was a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Everybody laughed at me, it was quite funny. She said I was crazy enough to work on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which was good. Oh, it's out of focus, hang on. Oh, anyway, I don't, I don't know. On the Friday, we had lessons and everything, and then myself and my four new friends, who I'm really friends with now, who, like, it was really confusing. There's James James, Emma and Katie, but two Jameses, so we called one of them clocks. But anyway, aside from the point, but we went out for dinner, which was really nice. And yeah, it was just great, because I didn't, like, expect to make, like, really good friends on this week. But then, I've already seen one of them since, and like, I didn't think it would be enough time to bond with people or like, make friendships that you're gonna keep or whatever. But I think I will. It was so much fun, and like, we all had so much fun. Like, the teachers were great, and the teaching was amazing. Because obviously they know where we're at, because we're like 15, 16, whatever. And they're like, in their 20s, 30s, whatever, and they've been doing it for years, and they understand where we where we're coming from when we're like, well, it's hard to get into the industry and whatever if we want to do that. And they answered all of our questions and everything. Um, and yeah, it was just really, really helpful, like, for like later life, I think, because they told us all about how to do this and how to do that and w answered like every single question we had. And then on the Sunday, basically, you have a performance day. So all this, all the, the work that we had been putting in was all towards the show. So we had our dress rehearsals and stuff on Friday. Then Saturday was our rest day. And then Sunday, we go to the Phantom of the Opera Theatre, which is Her Majesty's Theatre in Piccadilly Circus. It's like down the road from Piccadilly Circus. And we put, put on like a full scale show there, like with their tech crew and everything. And that was just amazing. Like performing on a West Coast stage was amazing, even though it was only in front of friends and family. It was just like such a great experience and we got all the dressing rooms backstage and everything. It was just like, it was really surreal because like, if I want to do that in later life, it was kind of like the closest it would be to that, I think. Doing that has like made me think about what I want to do in later life and it's really confused me. but. Ow! Ow! <laughs> that really hurt. It's like, made me think about like what I really want to do, and I don't know at the moment. I'm a bit confused between the two, but it was just such an amazing experience. And I think they're already booking for next year, so summer 2017. <laughs> no, but yeah, I'll insert some photos and stuff now. I'm just, I just feel like I'm repeating myself, but, oh, one thing I forgot, the workshop we had on Tuesday was Book of Mormon, which was the most fun, like, dance I've ever done. We did it two by two, and we had to do all of that, like, two by two, da, 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 whatever. 
I don't. <laughs> but it was it was so much fun and like the dance was really hard because it was it wasn't hard as in the moves were really easy. But then he goes right okay, and we all did it and we're like oh yeah this is fine. And then he goes yeah so now we'll do it at the normal speed and we were like okay what was that and he said a quarter of the speed we had to do it and it was like oh okay then thanks for that um yeah <laughs> so we all found it impossibly hard to do because it was really really fast but anyway it was so much fun and Anyway, <laughs> oh. all the chaperones and all the teachers and everything were so friendly and like everybody was like in the same place so you didn't get judged for being weird or whatever because I think every theatre kid's a bit weird. It was such a great experience and I would, li I would like recommend it to anyone that's thinking about this. I know it's like, it is kind of on the expensive side but for what you get when you think about it, it's like amazing. You get tuition from people who are in your position like 10 years ago. We put our names out there or whatever because I think there were casting directors in the audience but still haven't got my call, but you know. <laughs> if you're wondering about whether you should or shouldn't do it, just go for it. You may as well try it. I mean, it was so much fun. And if you want to know what it's like on a West End stage and how intensive the course was, because we had to learn like song lyrics, lines, I mean I didn't have many lines, but song lyrics, lines, everything in like a week, in five days. That was fine for me because I just listened to the song on the train in the morning, but for other people it was like quite difficult, but anyway. But yeah, it's, it's like so intensive, but I feel like that's how it would be. But yeah, it was such a great experience and I would literally recommend it to anyone, so yeah. And I do apologise if this video wasn't interesting you, you probably would have left at the start, so I don't know why I'm saying this now. But if it didn't interest you, just come back. But yeah, that's all I've got for you this week. So that was basically my experience at Wes. And yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you only came for the Wes videos, you may as well still check out my other videos. There'll probably be some like here. And then like there's some on my channel, obviously, which you should check out. And obviously check out, I mean, I'll leave all the links to like Wes's Facebook page and everything down below as well so you can check it out for yourself and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! Bye! Bye! Ooh.